I don't know if they're your friends or your brother's friends. But if I see this again, I'm going to call the police because this is just nonsense. They are rowdy, they are drunk, and I will not have this carrying, the carryings on in front of my house. This is our ranting manifesto! We were being different in a very small fish tank. It was very apparent to everyone this band was not conforming to like what was expected of bands to do. Cool. We were like fish fucking like did jumping like out of the bowl and flopping on the on the table like running out of air. It's almost like they wish like something like that didn't exist in South African music. Because people and other bands and venues were very reluctant to book us, we had to do our own thing from, from day one basically. But we've we actually created our own crowd and created our own audience so that we could have fun. We're playing punk rock. If we get 20 kids to come to our show, that's great. If we get 200 kids to come to our show, it's great. It's not something we're going to give off. We've just always kind of been under the, the tops and the more crass, and we're quite happy dominating that space, you know what I mean? We've done what we needed to do, and we're happy with it going whichever way it goes. It's not about us trying to be something that we're not. We're expressing our individuality by being reckless and mature. We sing about crass and ridiculous shit. This like, satirical punk band from South Africa, they immediately recognize it for what it was. In the South African media, on the other hand, never, they never grasped it as such. We thought like the, the, there was no ceiling at that point at all. We had arrived in Europe and people were digging our stuff. The gigs just became better and better and we were selling merch. And Fuck you! The band's gonna make it! What the fuck are you doing? But now it doesn't matter because we realize the band's not going to make it. We had a bad reputation for many years. They knew very well who we are. They still know who we are. <laughs> so I really like Half Price, but they can't play their instruments. You guys are always wasted. Like, what are you doing? Trying to make music. You guys can't do it. Because you guys are a liability. You just, you just go crazy. You do whatever the hell you want. You can't control you. You're not going to play there. I remember taking that very serious. It's like, fuck you. Yeah, we can do, if we want to be professional, we can be professional. We don't want to be professional. That's why we're not. We didn't give a fuck. And we actually were quite rude uh, to a lot of people. Not on intentionally, but... We're not deliberately trying to be dicks. I mean, <laughs> just putting I mean, it out there. <laughs> Think about normal shit. We did become a little bit more professional in later years, relatively so. Um, when you're starting on a low base, it's easy to improve on that. But I think there was, I think the wise man once said, a band in Cape Town is, is sometimes not measured by how good they are, but how long they've been able to stay together in one band. It really says something about finding your place in the world. <laughs>